Morning, Judge Meadow. I've got some awesome kit to show you this morning. Here we go. I've got a signal generator. I've got a power pack. I've got three cells. I've got a battery of three cells. And I've got an oscilloscope. And this is the important one here, because this is what I want you to learn about today. An oscilloscope is basically, here there's a screen there. An oscilloscope is basically something that takes an electrical signal and turns it into a moving picture. So it helps us to see things we couldn't normally see. It's a bit like a TV, you know, a TV takes an electrical signal and turns it into a picture. That's what an oscilloscope does. So, for example, a signal generator, if I switch it on, will make a noise. Well, if I switch the speaker on as well. So you can hear that noise. And then we've got an electrical signal coming out through these leads into the oscilloscope. If I now switch the oscilloscope on, it takes that electrical signal and it turns it into a picture that we can see. So there's a picture of the sound wave that we can hear. And then you can, if I change the sound wave, you will see that the picture changes. So for example, if I make it louder, you can see the amplitude gets bigger. If I turn the volume down, you can see the amplitude gets smaller. Or if I turn the pitch up and make it higher pitched, you can see the frequency gets higher and the wavelength smaller. Or if I turn the pitch down, you can hope and barely hear that, I know, because it's such a low pitch, but you can see the wavelength gets bigger, the frequency lower. Okay, so that is turning, if you like, sound waves and electrical signals into a picture on the oscilloscope. Well, we can use it for other things as well. So at GCSE, you're expected to know the difference between alternating current and direct current. Now, this power pack here gives us the option to plug the leads in to an alternating current. So in an alternating current, what happens is, instead of the uh, flow of electrons just going in one direction all the time, it alternates, it goes backwards and forwards. So if I plug those two leads into the power pack in the oscilloscope, and then switch the power pack on as an alternating current and then switch on our oscilloscope you'll see, there we go, you get a nice alternating sort of wave it's fluctuating, it's going forwards and it's going backwards, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards and then to contrast that switch that off, we'll switch our power pack off I can plug in our leads to the three cells. Now our cells will provide a direct current, so the electrons will only flow in one direction around the circuit. And this time, if I switch on the oscilloscope, you will see a flat trace. There we go. So we can see that there is um, a movement of electrons because it's above the x-axis here, but you can also see that it is not fluctuating, fluctuating sorry, like the alternating current is just going in one direction. <laughs> one direction. So anyway, this is the difference between a direct current, the sort of current we get from cells, and an alternating current, which is the sort of current that we get through our mains electricity. Right. It's Mr. Rolf from the oscilloscope signing off.